man, I can't, I'm in awe of what you did with the pretty much the same stuff I did. Completely different flavors on each thing and just knocked it out of the park, man. I don't know. Man. Det är det som är det här jag tyckte var sjukt roligt att liksom få ihop hela den här grejen. Det är din barndom och hur du har växt upp. Och det är så här jag hade velat växa upp i USA. <laughs> jag tycker ju att har man bestämt en tid så, så ska man ju komma där. Att Jonathan kommer med, med en timmars försening är ju är ditt skämt. <laughs> This is my first time inside here. I've only been here to pick you up. That's what black people see when they see each other at the gym or something. I'm trying to be like you, man. <laughs> I'm Jonathan Rollins, and today I'm gonna be showing my buddy Lou Death how we do on Super Bowl for the food, making the food for Super Bowl. Uh, here's how we're gonna do. It. I'm gonna I'm gonna make my food and tell Lou Death all about it, and then uh, he's gonna put his top-notch Michelin spin on it. Uh, skillnaden mellan mig och Jonathan att jag vill vara amerikan, han är amerikan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> och har den passionen. Ja. Uh. Yeah. I think Lude is probably going to learn a little bit about um, what is important to us with our food, uh, with our football food culture, how they marry each other. All right, today uh, I'm going to make uh, some important, some mainstays in my football parties. And that's sweet and spicy chicken, it's fried chicken, uh, mac and cheese balls, and seven layer dip. It's delicious. Huh? <laughs> uh, first things first, I'm gonna start with the refried beans here. But I'm just gonna cook them for a long time. You come about fritter any cooking oil? Yeah, I'm gonna cook them down until all the liquid's out and then I'm gonna add water and then cook it down some more. Nice. This is one layer, the base layer of our uh, of our seven layer dip. So this is the part that takes the longest. All right, so I put that pretty high, and we'll just keep an eye on that. Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some butter, some flour, and ricotta, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna melt down the butter, and then I'm gonna whisk it, and then it's gonna make a nice little sauce, and we'll add some cheese to it. And that's gonna be like the filling in the middle of our mac and cheese. Yeah. See what I mean? All right. I was gonna say that, man. I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what bechamel, that sounds like this chick I used to date in middle school. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but I'm gonna make a bechamel, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you about the measurements. I'll just get a couple scoops, once the butter melts, and then a whisk. Where you know, what, come from? I'm from Florida, from Miami. Miami, what yeah. Miami? Uh, it's called Carroll City, like North Miami. The cool thing about Miami is the mixture of people, so you get different cultures with the uh, with the food, the food culture. So you mm -hmm. get some Caribbean, you get some, uh, of course, Cuban, which is right by Miami. Um, all of these mix, and then my family, for instance, is from Alabama, so they come down with the soul food uh, culture. And they are similarly dipped. What is every layer, and where comes it from? Um, the layers could change up. Um, but it's just every football part is gonna have a dip. Uh -huh. Gotta put some, put your chips in something. So some people will do like a guacamole. Some people do like a bean dip. But seven layer dip is, is the, like the most sophisticated, most fancy. So that's why when I'm having a party, I want to show off my seven layer dip. And it's just layers of taste. Like we're gonna have refried beans. Then we're gonna have ground beef. Then we're gonna have jalapenos, salsa, uh, sour cream, cheese, and olives. Every Sunday, my uncle will have um, football parties. It, that was kind of the house everybody hung out at. So we would go to Munk, is his name, go to Munk's house, and everybody have different stuff laid out. And people have the different dips and the seven layers. You, you pick your layers. So that was one of my favorite combinations, those seven. This is where I whisk it a bit, and then I add my ricotta. So the ricotta will mash down in there too. And it's gonna make the flour and the butter mixed up is gonna get like a thickness to it. As you know, because I'm doing my own uh, brumishime. <laughs> Do I sound like I'm just talking shit? No. Like <laughs> I, I, I feel insecure around you, man. I'm, I took Gouda and cheddar cheese. I wanted to mix those two. Gouda I like it because it gets all like 
like like wet and stringy. And the cheddar, it's a sharp cheddar, and I just like that kick to it too. That's why I'm choosing these cheeses. So for here, I just cut these into strips. Mm -hmm. I don't know any technique or anything like that, so don't be talking shit about me when I leave. All right. <laughs> well, you didn't eat none of the combo. Okay, oh yeah, <laughs> for different reasons. <laughs> and then one tablespoon of vinegar. And then you... Let it sit for a little bit. And then you split. Is that what it's doing? No, that's a question. Is it gonna split or... I don't know what it is. It's gonna get thick and taste like buttermilk. <laughs> <laughs> so now, I start mashing this to make my refried beans. And it needs to cook down some more too. But this is when I start looking at it and watching it because I want my this to be a thick paste. Yeah. We'll come back to you. It is stupid. I should say, you should save this one. Because save that. This is roten helps to hold the whole hela löken. What do you mean for when I'm cutting? Yeah. What do you think about my technique? I should use my hands. Uh, that's, I, I got an issue with that, man. What? I'm a weirdo. I don't know. I have to. Wa I would have to wash my hands like five times. Classic thing for us. You nonstans mellan. I mean, around 180 degrees. And that's like three. That's something like three fifty. Ah. Yeah. Sour cream. Mm -hmm. Just the dangerous part because it can mess up the the way it looks. You like black olives? Yeah, it's fine. I would take these. And they say don't put too much together or too close to each other, then they'll clump up. I don't like my hands getting dirty, man. But whatever, <laughs> we did it. So those are, those are the balls. I got two small and two big. And then we got the chicken here. You ready to dig in? Yeah. I'm gonna try it too. What did you say? Chef. Hi, what you? Okay. Chef, yeah. Oh man. Damn. <laughs> oh, I like that technique. <laughs> mm. Mm. Hot. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorites to make too. Mm. Finger thing is a part of it too. You get your plate, you go around, you grab the stuff, put it on there. You can use the chips to grab your dip. You can use the, uh, your fingers to grab the chicken and your fingers to grab mm. the mac and cheese ball. All right, so we done what I had to do. Showed you how to do the Super Bowl foods. And now we're gonna get a Michelin star twist to this when uh, Luda steps in. LT, do what you do, baby. Det kommer bli en ny tolkning på, på de grejerna som, som du gjorde. Ramsticks. Mm -hmm. Och sen så kommer jag göra precis så som du gjorde med din uh, buttermilk-historia. Uh, mm -hmm. Och sen så tänker jag att jag ska använda samma panko som du gjorde så att det ändå oh, blir liksom yeah. lite. Okej. Okay. Mm, so it looks so good already. It looks so much more controlled when you're doing it. <laughs> In my head, as I'm doing it, I'm just like, ah, help, help me. And then, so you take a little bit of it, for otherwise, it will also be cold. And then you set it, and then you take it so long before it starts to cook, and then it's so easy to burn it. And then when you mix it, it's also a little loose than it was before. Och här har jag då förkokat lite makaroner. Mm. Oh wow. Och nu låter vi den här cool down a little bit. Okay. And then we're gonna add some cheese. Okay, Grand exactly. Cheese. Yeah. Okay. You remind me of like a really good quarterback. You know Tom what I mean? Brady. When you add, <laughs> I didn't say Tom Brady, but uh, yeah, I guess. But Tom Brady, if you talk to him uh, after a play, he knows what's going on in every part of the field. And you seem like a quarterback in the kitchen right now where you're just like, boom, boom, this going in here, this is in the way, pow, pow, add this, boom, boom. It's like you're thinking of a hundred things. Yeah, but man must do it when you work at home. You must be able to do it well. Parade pretty well. Yeah, you're just showing off. Yeah, you're just showing off. You're just showing off. Now, smashing the garlic, is this a chemical thing? 
Because I see my mom yeah. do it, I do it, and I don't know why. Det är mycket, du får ut en helt annan smak, för du krossar ju också fibern i den. I'm learning not just about the, uh, not just about the cooking or the ingredients or anything. I'm learning uh, the way he's moving around the kitchen and mm. thinking of different things. Even how, mu how much cleaner and organized it looks as he's making the food. Is it to your liking? Can't feed me on camera, bro. <laughs> Damn, that's good. Whoa. <laughs> Let's take this one. Put some flour on it. Mm. If you want, you can put some the spices into the flour as well. But, mm. but we got that with the panko mix. Yeah. You should tell your favorite jokes in front of an audience. <laughs> <laughs> so I can feel like an expert for once. <laughs> I take it back. White people can cook. <laughs> My mom was lying, man. <laughs> what are you looking for? Just brownness, right? Yeah. Can I feel it? The temperature? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's kind of it's pretty cool. Okay. Yes, chef. Creme fresh. Creme fresh. Your uh, master. Uh... Mm-hmm. Okay. And your fry. Yeah, refried beans. Refried beans. Close your eyes. <laughs> Close your eyes. Close your eyes. I'm not gonna have you feed me, man. I'm sorry. I got dignity. I'm sorry. Please, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, Jonathan. The whole talking put in dip, several dip. Mm -hmm. So I have shot fish in bottom, and then so you have this free refried beans. Mm -hmm. Men jag blandar i lite creme fraiche, jalapeno och eh, ost. Dina mac and cheese bollar var till mac and cheese fingers. Mm -hmm. eh, tillsammans med lite creme fraiche, persilja och eh, kimchi sesam. Drumsticks med en massa lök, vitlök, paprika, lite barrmjölk. Och sen så har vi friterat till samma frityr som du gjorde, det här med cornflakes och eh, pannkorra. Det är inte svårare än så. Inte svårare än så. <laughs> This looks fantastic. I can't wait to eat it, man. I didn't want you to talk about it. I'm drooling. Ooh. Oh, man. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, damn. Oh. Mac and cheese. Good. God damn. <laughs> God damn, good stuff, man. How do you do this? I feel weird being a black dude in a room of white people watching me eat chicken. That's right. <laughs> I don't know how comfortable I am with that. <laughs> you, you, you looking at me too close, LT. So you lagar först din take med det här hjärtat på på i matlagningen och sen så jag bara fått liksom kasta om det lite och sådär. Jag tycker det var sjukt sjukt roligt. Just knocked it out of the park, man. I don't know. It feels weird. Like, you always knock it out. I don't know. <laughs> so, All right. I love Take you. Have fun. Come on, Tavar. Let's make it awkward. <laughs>